And now for the strangest pipe smoker in the known universe. Evil. If you want someone, you come to the right place. Happy New Year, YouTube. How is everyone doing out there? It's 2019 now. <clears throat> well, last night uh, we ventured out to Ybor City, which is otherwise known as the cigar capital of the world. Of course, Ybor is a, I guess you could say it's kind of like a borough of Tampa, like Queens, Brooklyn, and... The Bronx and all that is of New York, I guess. Ebor is kind of like in the same kind of um, scenario. So, I my original plan was to go there and uh, sit down at one of my favorite places, which is the um, Corona Cigar Bar and Cafe, and have myself a nice cigar and an espresso. I thought of calling, but I didn't. And what do you know? They were closed. I couldn't believe they were closed New Year's Eve. So, I decided to venture a few blocks down. And I found a store called Ebor Cigars Plus. Now, these guys, this store... And there's a bar in there, a cafe. I didn't have any coffee, but I just stopped in to get some cigars because we were going to get a pizza and head home. And <clears throat> they roll all their own cigars. Beautiful, beautiful cigars. So I went into their humidor. Beautiful young lady took me in the humidor and showed me all the cigars. And... Um, this, I believe, because none of them have labels. I mean, I just went and just picked them out randomly. So, uh, I kind of did a search on this. It looks a little bit darker. So, it may be a Maduro wrapper. I'm not totally sure. Uh, but, <clears throat> more than likely, uh, it will have the Cuban seeds in it. And the binder would be um, Colombian, Dominican... Honduras and the Cuban seeds.
So the cigar really, uh, it, it just, it surprised me. I mean, I really didn't think it to be this good. It is as fresh as can be. It's a wonderful, nutty, uh, earthy, woodsy tone to it. And I believe, when I looked it up, I believe it to be the Grand Tour of Strong. But I'm not totally sure. It's the closest I could find to it. Because I really didn't have time to uh, get all the specs and of each cigar. I should have taken a picture with my phone. We'll save that for another time. But regardless of it, it's a great cigar. Delicious. Um, good with a cup of coffee. Excellent with this Starbucks uh, caramel. It's good coffee. This is the, gr the ground coffee. So, uh, if you're in Ybor City, you definitely got to give this place some of your business. I mean, they've got some delicious homemade, home-wrapped cigars that are just out of this world. I mean, they are wonderful. And get them while you still can because, you know, <clears throat> these guys roll their own cigars right there. They get the tobacco, they get the leaves, the leaf in, they get everything, and they make them right there. So they're actually blending there's a process which is classified as blending by the FDA's regulations. So I really don't know how much longer they are going to be around. Hopefully, they will win the day because they make an awesome cigar. Spicy, peppery. Mm. Get a little bit of coffee, nutty flavor. In the early stages of smoking this, I've already smoked it down. It was probably, I believe it to be a 7x60 cigar. And uh, when I first started smoking, it had a, more of a creamy kind of taste to it. But it was, it's, it's good. But anyway, I took a video. Uh, we had a little quagmire there because, of course, the place was closed. And the traffic was just jammed to the hill. I mean, people everywhere, and we were trying to ride up and down, look for a parking place, and trying to find another cigar bar cafe to sit outside. Uh, by that time, we could no longer do it uh, because my friend wasn't feeling well, so we had to end up, I had to park the car and go down and get my cigars, and then we had to truck on out of there. So basically, when I came back to the car, it was three minutes to 12, so I took a video of Ebor at the strike of 12 midnight on New Year's Eve. So it wasn't too chaotic. I mean, uh, there was people uh, screaming and hollering. You know, you heard fireworks, but it wasn't all that too chaotic. Uh, then we drove to the other side of Tampa and we got ourselves a pizza from Domino's and half pepperoni and half cheese pizza. So, here I was curious. Hmm, I wonder what this cigar is really going to taste like. Because uh, if it didn't have any flavor notes on the description, they just said robust, Robusto or, or uh, Maduro or Habana or, you know, whatever. And it told the, the contents of the binders and all that. And so, I, you know, it's great. It really is. I really like it. So I got six, seven cigars all together. So um, this one was one of the better ones. So anyway, I hope everyone... Uh, had a wonderful New Year's Eve. Uh, I had a kind of a strange one this year. I'm sitting in my car in a parking space on the side of the road. Step out of my car and stand out there and looking around. And the strike of 12. And whatever. It is what it is, right? We've all had those kind of New Year's Eve. So. 
we've all had weird New Year's Eve celebrations at one time or another, or we didn't have any celebration at all. I mean, there's been New Year's Eves where I just went to sleep and I went to bed before 12 and I just didn't care about it. And sometimes, you know, it's a big celebration and sometimes it's just not. It's just another day, really, if you think about it. I wanted to comment about New Year's resolutions. I do not make New Year's resolutions. I used to when I was younger, a child. And I will tell you why I don't make New Year's resolutions. Because probably, I want to say, up there in the 90 percentile uh, area of New Year's resolutions, 90-some percent of them people never keep. So if you're going to change something about your life, you change it. You don't say, oh, well, I'm going to wait until the strike at 12 on this certain day and I'm going to change everything because it, you've got, unless you have already decided to do that or change that or stick to that, then it can be a reality. I'm not saying by all means that not all resolutions work. Some may work very well. There's always exceptions to the rule. Nothing is one way, full bore. At least that's what I live by. That's my saying. This cigar is a wonderfully fresh stick of just awesome tobacco. It's just... I mean, uh, I it's just fresh. It's so it feel it tastes so fresh. It tastes like they just rolled it today or something. It's just so good. So I just took the other section. I put them right on in my humidor. So uh, I'll pull another one out one day and I'll do a little review on it. And uh, but whatever you do, if you go there, um, there may be someone there to help you figure out which ones taste like what because this young lady really didn't know I guess the cigar guy wasn't there, it was, it was late but I just took a chance and I ended up with a good one so um, here I am it's 3.22 a.m. January 1st 2019 as it says on my watch which, by the way, I've never shown on a video before. This is Amazon upside down. Yikes! Okay. Don't know how I can do that, but I'm going to do it this way. This is a Armatron. And, um... It's a beautiful... It's a nice watch. I purchased this watch about, uh, I want to say, three years ago. I believe it was. Something like that. Maybe four years ago, when I first came, when I first moved down to Florida. Because I always wanted a blue and silver watch. And really, I had my heart set on a digital, one of those real fancy digitals. Then when I saw this, I was like, you know what, I'm going to get an analog. So I got the analog, and it has the old-fashioned, the day and, and the date here. And the beautiful dial in blue. And the letters in silver. Not real silver, but... It'll do good enough for me nice watch I love it I only wear it for special occasions because I really don't want the crystal to get scratched because uh, when I used to wear a watch every day as a routine practice I would always end up banging it into something and scratching up the crystal and so I want this one to stay nice so I wear it when I'm doing something that I really enjoy so uh, I replace the battery like maybe every two years. I have I just go in the mall or wherever the jewelers and have them do it because it's very hard to get the back off of it. And you got to have a special tool and it's one of those deals. 
10 bucks and they do it. I mean, it takes about, and it even takes them sometimes a good five to 10 minutes to do it. So you can imagine me messing with this, right? I got enough things I play with. So anyway, I figured I'd uh, just give you a little rundown of what we did tonight. We had my father with me and he stayed in the car most of the time. He was going to, I brought his wheelchair and he was, I was going to bring him to the cigar place and he sits there with us and enjoys himself too. And, but uh, that was my New Year's. That's, it is what it is, right? So here's wishing all of you a happy New Year. And a prosperous, wonderful, fun-filled, joy-filled, happy 2019. Catch you later.